right, so here's the former world title challenger, the Black Beast, Derek Lewis. Of course, you have shared the octagon with this man, and they don't pack much more power than this guy in this heavyweight division. No, some guys are blessed with a power that's just jarring. And Derek Lewis is one of those guys. He's so big, he's so strong, he's deceptively quick when he's in there, and he's unbelievably athletic. He will throw double kicks, and you think that he's going up with the left leg, but then the right leg lands, he throws the right hand from anywhere, and the moment he lands, he can put your lights out. And it does not matter the time of the round, yeah. Derek Lewis can finish him at any moment in the fight. And he's a guy who's also been a real workhorse for the UFC, made his debut back in 2014. He did have a recent knee surgery. Let's see how he comes out of it here tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artists. This guy's closing the gap and, and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep, or a headlock, or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out arena in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, holding a professional record of 26 wins, 11 losses, and one no contest. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 260 pounds. Fighting out of Houston, Texas, Derek the Black Beast Lewis. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 231 pounds. Fighting out of Salvador Bahia, Brazil, assassin. All right, grip the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. So here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy, I mean, again, describe his courage. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck, doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. Big call for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. 
Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Look at how he drives his knee right into his opponent's midsection. And he landed the right hand there. Boy, Ty Plump. Well, there's a takedown attempt. No surprise that he would go for it there, but unable to get the fight to the ground. Whenever your opponent knows that you're gonna try to take him down, you have to disguise it. He did not disguise it. He tried to just shoot a blind shot. He got defended as you would expect him to. Great punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Stuff the takedown, no problem. A little struggle here now for position in the clinch, and we see a lot of these situations in mixed martial arts where both fighters sort of end up getting comfortable here when there isn't a whole lot going. And the moment somebody gets comfortable, the moment that somebody decides to relax, the moment you see a takedown, or somebody really speed out ahead of their opponent, you gotta be aware when you're chest to chest in this 50-50 position. So just over Whoa! 20 total strikes. Oh my goodness! He's got him hurt here. the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. That shot is blocked by Lewis. Look at him drive his shin. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Under two minutes now to go in the round. What a punch. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. <laughs> 90 seconds now to go in round one. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lewis. A little single collar tie there. Lewis has got the tie clinch now. Beautiful kick. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was gonna stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Final seconds of round one. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent.
All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, hey. if you're going to sit there at the drive through order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man, let this guy have the whole thing. Nice straight punch. And just inches away from the... Oh! He was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh, big left hook there. Trying to stay in this fight. Takedown defense holds up. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Got the single collar tie. Just out of range with that left hook. Oh man, head kick lands. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this one. What finish this fight? Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target. Oh! An effective strike there by Lewis. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now he's got that tight punch. Look at the skip action that allows you to land that big knee. Oh, single collar tie here. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there. Nasty. Oh, nice. Is this the one that's gonna break him? Now he's attacking the triangle. Triangle looks pretty tight, DC. I'm no Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belt, but maybe not good here. No, it looks like it's getting in deep. Watch triangle, watch triangle. Nicely done. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here, just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground, and that's very important. Trying to recover full guard there. Nice hammer fist. Under two minutes to go. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds an outcome. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. So he's really starting to put together some sick. Wow! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Close guard. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. One minute to go in the round. Oh, looks like he's transitioned to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. Gotta be careful, armbar. He might get a finish here. Oh man, that was slick. Trying to recover full guard there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Oh, and he's back up again. 10 seconds now to go in the round. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And the horn sounds on round two. All right, now we take a look back at some of the action in that previous round, DC. A lot to like on both sides, Will. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what happens when nobody wants to take a step back? They meet in the middle. That's exactly what they did 
and they both found success over the course of that round. to get going on his takedown finishes. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! It's over! It's over! What a fight! Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay. It ends up a knockout, but this was really a striking clinic from the moment they touched one. I mean, a competitive fight that one guy finally found the shot that ended the fight. But both of these warriors displayed a ton of heart. One guy got the finish, but neither guy should be disappointed in their performance. All right, here one more time. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Bergliato has called a stop to this contest at 54 seconds of the third round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Derek the Black Beast Lee. Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.